Okay, all in this video, I want to discuss, is it safer in a group? Follow along. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. My name is Rob Christian, also known as DC Born Rob, DC Rob, Rob. I answer to them all. Thank you guys for watching. If you ever get any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos, and like. Like helps the YouTube algorithm. The more you hit like, the more people get to see these videos. For all those who take a second and go down and hit like, cool man said. You all right. That's right. Much appreciated. So let's just jump straight into this topic. What I want to talk about today, is it safer in a group than it is being out by yourself, meaning traveling? Okay. When you get to another country, is it better to be on your own or better to be in a group? Okay. I'm going to take the position that it's safer in a group. Okay. And a couple of different groups. And by that, I mean our private group where you get the, uh, the information and share the information and be more knowledgeable, but also walking around the streets as a group. Now, if you watch my last video, uh, walking around Parque Lleras, uh, last month before I left, that last night before I left, I wasn't by myself. I walked with a uh, security because I was holding up a camera. I also had uh, uh, Carlton join me and I had one of my viewers hammer time with me uh, too. Now, when you're picking people to, to go chill and go hang out with in a group, make sure there's one or two people in that group that don't drink, okay? So they're less liable to get got than you are. So if you wanna go out and have a good time, then you are prepared. When I was younger, t early 20s, 30, whenever, and I was going out and partying and all like that, I'd go out with my partner and he knew and I knew that if I got too drunk, I could tell him, Charlotte, man, you gotta watch out for me, man. I, and Cause I'm, I need somebody to babysit me, take care of me. So at that point, he had to stop drinking. Same thing. He said, man, take me home. I had too much to drink or whatever. Well, I noticed he's had too much to drink. To, okay, bet. Now I got to stop drinking. Okay. You have to have a responsible party in the group. Okay. So people who don't drink are always bet. Now, when I walked around the park that night, I not only had security again, because I was carrying a camera, an expensive camera. Uh, I also had Carlton, uh, a viewer, hammer time with me also. And guess what? Security didn't drink. Carlton don't drink. Or he didn't drink that night. He may drink a little something every once in a while. One drink. I don't think he's not a drinker like me. And hammer time don't drink. So bet. <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for somebody to travel with in a group, that's where you go. Now, just as a group in general, I tell people to always go to Sweet Georgia Cafe when you get there. Why? I don't get paid for telling people to go there. You know, I'm I'm not part owner. Somebody asked me, was I part owner or do I get kickbacks or whatever? No, I don't. I tell you to go there because of what Sweet Georgia Cafe meant to me. Now, I go back to the other location when there was no Poblado one. So I, my spot was in Laureles and it was a group and it was a group of people who came and went all day long, just chilling. I could work from there now. Had a good view, by the way, too. I could work from there, but people would talk to you. We would talk to each other. You would meet somebody. If you sit there long enough, you're going to meet somebody and with some valuable information too. Okay. So I learned a lot. I got some talking to relationship wise, just moving down there wise. If you want to learn about getting a, a, a sedula, how to extend your visa, um, and just basic relationship, because a lot of people to go down there, a lot of single guys go down there. Well, we know why some single guys go, but there are some single guys who go just for the peace, just for the peace, just to get away. Okay. We want that quiet. Maybe we're coming off a divorce or a breakup. Have you gone through a breakup? Have you gone through a divorce? I mean, I'm talking to some of you guys right now. I know some of you guys that just want to escape the rat race of the U.S. You call this the matrix. You want to get away from it. This stress infested, which turns to trauma. So stress and drama to me is trauma and you don't need that. It's bad for your health. But when you get there, you find that there are other like-minded Americans or Canadians or Europeans or Africans or wherever who think the same thing. They just want to get away. I would, I had my core group that I hung out with or that would come there because I was sitting there. So you'd see certain people come through day and night, day and, and I still to this day consider them good friends. I got a good talking to. Yes, I needed a good talking to in the past about relationships. Make sure I wasn't slipping. It's always good when you talk to somebody. Let me tell you something like, because you can sit here in the U.S. and be stressed out. You can sit here and be extremely stressed out. Guys, we go through a divorce or something like that. We just want to walk in front of a bus or open up a car door and jump. You know, we get severe in this type stuff. So talk to somebody. And here you had somebody talking to me and just talk me off the ledge, so to speak. So this is why I tell people to go to Sweet Georgia Cafe, because it's more than just a restaurant 
and a bar. It's a resource. I tell you, it's a resource, people. It's a place where you can go and get that camaraderie and you can always come back to that spot. Now, when things happen to people there, chances are they're alone. And, you know, most of the stories that I've read, I don't know anybody that knows those people. Whereas if you were a regular Screen Georgia Cafe, we know. We know who gets robbed in the group because you'll come back and you'll say, this happened to me. And so all that information gets passed around and you can do due diligence and investigate on your own and research which parts of town and areas and by, I mean, you, you have that information there. So the information is there in that group set. Now, the other group setting is my private group. It is called Columbia Bound. We used to be on WhatsApp. Nightmare, nightmare, straight up nightmare. Did I say it was a nightmare? This was a nightmare. I would wake up in the morning and there were 2,000 messages overnight. Since then, I've turned off my uh, ringer, my, uh, my what do you call it, notification ringer. Beep, beep, bing, pop, ding. All those things drive me nutty. So I removed all that garbage. I don't like getting alerts for that. If I, if I have a message, I'll go back and check. I already told my mom, you need to find me, call me. Don't send me a text because I'm not going to see it right away. Because that stuff is just, it just and, and on WhatsApp, you have to scroll, 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 scroll see what happened overnight? No. Our group, you get in, easy to use, you put your picture up, people know who you are, your number's not in there. No personal information is in there, only what you choose to put in there. I use your WhatsApp number solely as a reference, okay? Make sure we don't get the same people that were causing the problems before. It was a nightmare. Did I tell you it was bad? It was a nightmare. Did I tell you that? So I'm glad to be out of that. Now we're at over 600 members right now. You get in, you put on some information, you post some information, you research some information. You want to learn, find an Airbnb in Medellin? Go on and type in Airbnb Medellin. And Luis, our moderator, has actually put that information up. He's also done it for other cities too, Cartagena, Bogota. That information is there. From him, I'm also working with other people. You may have met uh, Susana a week ago on the uh, app. She's helping me out also. I'm also looking for somebody else to continue to maintain it, to do news. I am researching a lot of information. I, this one thing I told you before you go, one thing you need to learn before you go, Spanish. Okay, I tell you, number one, the first thing you need to do is learn Spanish. The second thing is what? Learn Spanish. The third thing is what? Learn Spanish. That's right. Learn Spanish. Learn Spanish. So I'm working on finding someone, some people to help you guys learn Spanish. Also, the second thing you need to do when you get there, I don't care if you like to dance or not, you need to learn how to salsa. I mean, I would say 80 to 90% of you, you need to learn how to salsa. The rest of you just want to chill out and get that. But if you're younger, you want to go out, and even if you're older, you're my age, you want to salsa, you should be able to salsa. You should be able to salsa. Okay, so learn how to salsa, learn the Spanish. I'm working on this information for you. All this information will be included in the group. So in the, the group has no call. So why not join, contribute where you can, get out. Put some videos in, get out. Read the news, get out. You don't have to constantly be monitoring the app and you don't have to, oh, bing, 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 bing. Now you got to scroll through and see what happened overnight. No, that information is there. It'll tell you how many personal messages you have, how many things have been posted, and the information is there. So there's the importance of that group. But being out on your own, there is nothing more important than being in a group because just like in Africa and the lion is after the wildebeest or elephants, they go for the smallest one and they go for the smallest one that's out on their own. Okay. They're picking them off. Again, most of the stories that I've done of people getting killed or whatever else, I don't know them. And you don't know. And most of the people I know don't know them because I asked. They would say, oh, that's Jimmy. I don't know Jimmy. No. Wasn't Jimmy because you don't know. This guy stayed to himself, never went by Sweet Georgia Cafe, never got involved in a group. So it's more, Sweet Georgia Cafe is more than just food. It's more than just drink. It's more than just camaraderie. It is a home base. It's a resource center, but it's a home base. Go, meet, let people know who you are, and then go home. You want to go home for the rest of the week? Go home. But come on Mondays. You know, when Mondays there's bunches of people because they do Monday, uh, I forgot what it's called, where they, they mix and mingle with the expats. Come once a week. Stay for an hour. Let people see you. Let people know you are there. If anything happens, happens, they'll say, oh, I know you. I know that guy. So-and-so, because I see on the other chat, you so-and-so got robbed, so-and-so got robbed. They know who got robbed. They know how it happened. You don't. Because number one, I don't pass on messages from, from that chat group, but I'm trying to find as much positive news as I can. Actually, I'm bringing on somebody else to help me with that as we speak. Hopefully they're watching right now, but I'm trying to be a resource for you just as Sweet Georgia Cafe is that resource for you, but you need to be in a group. Now I ask myself, is it better to be in a group? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Oh, of course. Of course. I think we all agree. That's right. I think it's better to be in a group. So take that with a grain of salt. If you think it's better being on your own, 
or you just prefer to be on your own, I understand that. I'm giving you always the point of view that's coming from me, the experiences that I've had, my experience there, and you take it with a grain of salt. I'm passing this information because number one, I want to keep you guys safe more than anything, bar none. I want you to enjoy yourself, but safety is of utmost importance. I'm also working on healthcare too. So there's a lot of things that I have in the mix. So stick with me. Keep sending the positive videos and the positive news. Thank you so much for everyone who took a second and sent me a few videos or sent me some videos. Thank you guys for those of you that took the time. R remember, if you're going to send it to me, send it to me this way, not this way. Take the video this way, not this way. Do a selfie. It fills the screen when you do it in landscape mode. Otherwise, it looks like you just TikToking in the middle of the screen. So send me that information and I'll pass that on to my other users. I've gotten so many in the past few days since I did my last video. Man, blessed, blessed. That's what some of the, the messages and the emails I've gotten make me feel blessed. I can't stop now. I got to keep it going. Now, I get depressed too. I'm going through some stuff now. Like I said in my last video, I'm going through some stuff. You're probably going through some stuff. You know, but somebody, somebody right now who's watching this is going through a divorce. Some people, somebody who's watching this right now just wants to escape and get out of the U.S. alone. Somebody wants to meet a nice Latina in Medellin or a Paisa or in Bogota or wherever, and you just want to retire there. Some people are just got their Social Security and you want to retire. Some people are retiring next year, the year following that. They want to investigate. They want to go down and do the research. By all means, do it. I'm just saying, do it in a group. So I don't think it's safer by yourself. So do. And I ask myself, do I think you should stay in a group? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, of course. Of course. I think we all agree. Yes. Positively. Yes. We all yes. are going mm -hmm. to say yes, 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 yes. yes. That's right. I think you should. I think there's safety in numbers. I think there's strength in numbers and you are less liable to get picked off. Now do me a favor, get by Sweet Georgia Cafe, show Rob some love, tell him DC Rob sent you. That's all I ask. Get a drink, spend some money there, get some good food. Come once a week if that's all you want. Just let people see you. Let people know who you are, okay? Meet some people no matter where you go and cover your drinks up when you're out. It's important to have somebody there with you when you're out at a bar. I mean, any type of way you look at it, it's better to be at a bar in a group. Now, I have gone by myself, yeah, but I sit, by, you know, I'm always, I'm the cat with his back to the wall <laughs> looking at the door. <laughs> so you're going to roll up on me. You're going to roll up right in front of me. But my money is dispersed. By all means, if somebody pull out a gun on you, give them what they want. Give them what they want. It's not even worth it. But personally, I always carry an ink pen with me and it ain't for just writing because you ain't going to see with one eye. But you got a gun. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Now, I'm still, again, I'm working on Spanish lessons for you guys. Medical care for you guys. I'm working on a dance class, a salsa and bachata. You need to learn how to salsa and bachata if you're going to be there for any period of time. I'm doing what I can. Thank you guys for the support. More support is always welcome. And I need likes. I need likes. Thank you so much. If you watch my video and you get any benefit out of it, likes help more than anything. Sharing it. No, let's put it this way. Sharing it helps more than anything. Sharing is caring. Okay. But a like lets YouTube know that you find the information valuable and we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe. Stay in a group. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you go down and hit subscribe. Definitely like it helps that YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm talking about? See what I'm saying? We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.